Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This video is going to cover the TTM squeeze in a watch list. This is prompted by a couple of viewers who have noticed in the watch list here in the upper left of my screen, I've got these multicolored columns here, and one is set to a weekly direction, a daily direction, and then a third one is set to an hourly direction. And those are all based upon the TTM squeeze histogram. As you can see here, they're color-coded to match the default colors of the TTM squeeze. Now I can build this without even needing the source code. Remember that the TTM squeeze on Thinkorswim is copyrighted and the source code is not available. However, you still can access the plot values. And by doing so, you can create a custom column in your watch list that is color coded to match the indicator on your chart. And before we get into the details, this is a great time for the disclaimer, which is, I am not a professional trader. Nothing in this video should be interpreted as an advertisement or recommendation to buy or sell any financial instrument. I'm not here to show you how to make profitable trades or how to identify a profitable setup or recommend specific indicators. What I'm here to do is show you how you can customize the Thinkorswim platform so that you can get a quality experience from your time in front of the charts. Okay, so let's get into those details now and I'll show you how to build this in your custom watch list. So let's flip through a few of these stocks and I'll show you. Notice that when the stock is selected in the watch list, the color coding goes away. This is something new to Thinkorswim's latest repainting strategy. And because of this, the colors disappear when the item is selected. However, the numbers behind the scenes here, which I have programmed to uh, hide when you're not selected that stock, these numbers will help you to remember that this was a yellow and the daily was set to a light blue as well as the hourly. So let's take a look at this one here. We'll go down here to AZN and you've got yellow, blue, yellow. So when we click on that, we look to the chart and we see on the weekly we've got yellow, on the daily we've got blue, and on the hourly we have red. Now we shouldn't have red here, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the setting on the chart matches the setting in the custom column. So we'll go to Style and Settings, and from Settings we'll go to Equities, and we'll want to make sure that we uncheck this box, this box that says Start Aggregations at Market Open. We want to uncheck that. We hit Apply and OK. And it's still not matching as you notice, but there is one more thing that needs to be adjusted. So we'll right click over here by symbol, we'll select customize, and we'll take that hourly custom column, we'll open that up. So this is the code here, by the way. I'm going to provide this code for you in the description of the video. You're not going to need to download anything, there won't be any link to click on. You'll have the code available right there in the description of the video. I think it's short enough and compact enough that it won't disturb the uh, description of the video and you guys will have it available. So here is the setting that needs to be adjusted as well. This checkbox here is checked and it says include extended hours trading session. You need to uncheck that to get it to match what I'm showing on the charts. Now, if you wanted to use the extended hours trading session, you'd simply need to make sure that both the custom column and the chart match. In this case, my hourly chart does not include the extended hours trading session. So I need to uncheck it from the custom watch list. Why would you want to use extended hours? Well, perhaps if you're doing this for futures, you would want to make sure that you include the extended hours for your indicator. We'll go ahead and hit apply and OK, and then click OK. And then we can see that the values now is updated that minus two means it's red. I'll go ahead and select a stock up here so you can see that now the stock AZN is yellow, light blue, and red. And if we go back and click on that, we refresh the charts and we can see we're at yellow, blue, and red. Okay, so everything's matched up. So it's very important that you guys catch that. If 
any of this didn't make sense, go back and review the video to make sure you understand how to get these settings adjusted correctly. Otherwise, you're going to get frustrated. You're going to see that the things don't match and you're not going to know why. But that last three minutes of video there is the key, I think, for most of your uh, troubles that you're going to have with this indicator. Okay, great. So now what it will do is I'll show you how to install these on a watch list. I'm going to log out of my live screen here. I'm going to log back in on the paper side. On the paper money side, I haven't developed this watch list columns on my paper side. So we'll go ahead and log out, log back in. And when the video resumes, you're going to see a different screen, but I'll show you how to step by step, copy and paste this code, load it right into your platform. Okay, stick around, more to come. Okay, now that I've logged into the paper money side of Thinkorswim's trading platform, I want you to see that I've got three charts set up just as before. I've got the weekly time frame, the daily time frame in the middle, and all the way to the right is the hourly time frame. And you can see over here I've got a watch list. Now this is just the default columns for a watch list. It's showing the symbol, the last price, the net change, strength meter, high and low. And you can see that it's linked to these charts so that as I click through the items in the watch list, the charts automatically update. Okay, so next I will show you how to create a custom column in the watch list. I'm going to do this step by step for you. And you don't have to watch any of the previous videos to learn how to do this. And what it will do is I'll show you how to copy and paste the code that you're going to get from the description in, in the video, either below the video if you're on YouTube or above the video if you're watching this on the Hontech website. And you'll copy and paste that code right into the custom column. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start that right now. So first things first, let's go to this screen over here where I've got the code that you're going to copy and I'm going to copy this directly from my little workspace here and then we'll go ahead and go back to the Thinkorswim platform we want to go ahead then and go to the watch list and you want to put your mouse right over the symbol the word symbol which is the heading for that column all the way to the left and you right click when you right click it's going to give you a menu and you click customize now from Customize, you've got two sides here. On the left is all of the available columns that are built in through the Thinkorswim platform. On the right are the ones that have been set up for this particular watch list. So I'll move this to the side a little bit. And you can see here, I'm going to remove the high and I'm going to remove the low. And if I hit OK, you can see that those columns disappear from the watch list. So I'll go ahead and right click and select Customize again. So I'll show you how to do that and I'm going to get rid of the strength meter as well and all I'm doing is making room so that I've got space to add three new columns that are going to be the TTM squeeze histogram color coded and matching so I'll go ahead and click OK just to show you guys now I've got that down to three separate columns now let's go ahead and right click once more we'll go to customize and what we'll do then is under look up a column there's a little drop down here and I'm going to select custom quotes custom quotes is where you can create your own custom columns and whatever code you put in there it will uh, calculate the values and it will be included as a custom column in your watch list let me show you how that works we'll go ahead and click custom quotes you can see now if you've never created a custom column before then you'll have it set up just like this. There's 1 through 19. And what you do to use these is you click on the little script icon. When you click on the script icon, it's going to open up Code Editor. From the Code Editor view, I'll move this right here to the center of the screen, what you'll do is you'll set the name of your custom column, keep it brief so that it fits in the column, and you'll select your aggregation period. In this case, I'm going to select Weekly, and then you go to the Think Script Editor and erase any code that happens to be there and replace it with the code that you copied from the website or from the YouTube video description. In this case, I'll go ahead and paste that in. And you can see that the code just slips right in there. And I'll name this Weekly, let's just give it a lowercase SQZ for Weekly Squeeze. That's all I need. I'll be able to tell that it's a weekly and that it's a squeeze. And then I'll go ahead and hit apply and then hit OK. 
So what that's done now, let's go ahead and use the uh, filter here. We'll go ahead and hit that drop down, click on custom quotes. You can see now of all the custom quotes, custom one is missing. Now custom two is at the top and the one that I created is listed alphabetically down here at the bottom. That's the weekly squeeze. Now I just need to double click it and it will add it to the custom column watch list. Now let's go ahead and hit OK. You can see that it automatically pops in there. So you can see now that all of these stocks are going to show you what color the squeeze histogram is for each of those stocks on a weekly chart. So let's just click through a few of these. This one is blue and sure enough that's blue. Okay, next one is also a light blue. Let's go ahead and check this. Yep, light blue. Uh, we'll go down to SPY. SPY is also light blue. No surprise, markets have been in rally mode for some time here. Uh, let's look at the next one. It's supposed to be a dark blue. Sure enough, the histogram has turned dark blue. Uh, let's get a little variety in here. We'll go to FXE, which is the Euro Currency ETF, and sure enough, it's red. And we'll look at one more here, and that one is just barely perceptible, but it is red there. You can see the value is negative. It's below the zero line. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add the daily and the hourly custom columns. The steps are very simple, but you want to make sure you follow this uh, just to make sure you get the details down, okay? And once again, we'll right click over the word symbol in the watch list where we want to create the custom column. We'll click on customize. Customize will open this dialog box and we want to create another custom column. So we'll use this drop down to filter by custom quotes and we'll just grab the one at the top. We'll click on the script icon that will open up the code editor. We're going to name this one We'll put a D in here and then another lowercase SQZ. Nice short name, but it tells me it's a daily squeeze. And the aggregation period defaults to daily, so I do not need to change the aggregation period for this one. We'll go to the ThinkScript editor, which will allow us to access this code. We'll go ahead and delete the code that's there, right click and select paste. The code is there. There's no errors. We'll go ahead and hit apply and OK and then we'll go ahead and hit OK again. And I missed a step if you didn't catch that. I did not add that after creating it. I did not add it to the watch list. So you can see that it only has the weekly. So we'll go ahead and use the drop down box. We'll go down to custom quotes to filter by custom quotes. When I did click apply and OK, it did create it because you know custom two is missing. So we'll scroll down here in the bottom and we'll find that daily one that I just created. We'll double click it and that's exactly where I want it to be in the list so I'll click OK and we'll give it a little bit to load and there we go so you can see for instance uh, symbol UUP has got two light blue histograms one for weekly one for daily and sure enough the weekly is light blue and the daily is light blue as well but we don't have the hourly on there so we don't know that uh, UUP for instance we don't know that that's dark blue until we click on the item in the watch list and see it in the chart so let's look at FXE FXE has got two reds so you got weekly is red and the daily is red as well so now let's go through this one more time and I'll show you there's a little trick to doing the hourly you want to make sure you cover this don't change that channel yet okay so we're going to go ahead and do the same exact steps we'll go to custom quotes we're going to hit the script icon for custom three. We're going to name this 60 SQZ. That'll tell me it's 60 minute squeeze. Okay, and we want to change the aggregation period to a one hour aggregation. You see that listed from the drop down here. Notice when you select anything below a daily time frame, and anything, in other words, anything that's an intraday time frame, you're going to have the option of checking or unchecking this box. Now remember from earlier in the video, this was crucial in making sure that the color coding on the watch list matched the color coding on the chart. So we'll go ahead and uncheck this because our chart is set up to exclude extended hours of trading. And then we'll go ahead and go to the Think Script Editor. We'll erase this code here. And then we'll right click and select Paste because we still have all that code on the clipboard. We can then press Apply and OK. 
and now we have it right here you can see it's selected but it's not been added so I'll go ahead and double click that and now it's added so we'll when we hit OK here we'll have the weekly daily and 60 minute squeeze as custom columns on the watch list there you have it so let's say we had UUP let's say we had UUP we go and we see that that's uh, light blue light blue and dark blue so we go ahead and click that and sure enough we've got light blue light blue and dark blue now this is something new with the latest uh, changes that they made to thinkorswim when they repainted the user interface and cleaned up the code when you select an item on the watch list the color coding disappears it's unfortunate but fortunately the way I've got this designed there's numeric values that are behind these colors so for instance a light blue is two and the dark blue is a one if you look here at one let's see this has got a red red yellow you can see that the red is minus two and the yellow is minus one so you're going to have values from minus two to positive two to cover the four different color schemes so if you're looking at this and you're wondering well I can't see the colors now well the numeric values fortunately are there and that will help you you get used to it uh, to be able to interpret so let's take a look at this one here we got a light blue and two reds so we'll go ahead and click on that and you can see it's just barely above the zero line there on the weekly and then the daily and the hourly are red they're below zero okay well that's about all I had to show you guys again this was um, you know I've had this on my charts for some time and I have viewers that were asking me hey what is that can you show us how to do that and uh, absolutely absolutely and uh, the great thing is because of the way thinkorswim is is, is coded uh, we can do this without gaining access to the original uh, source code. In other words, we don't need to have the source code for a copyrighted study in order to be able to utilize the plots and the elements from, from within it. So hopefully this is a, a useful video for you guys and maybe you'll be looking at the other copyrighted studies and getting ideas on hmm, maybe the TTM wave. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, but I'll leave that to you guys to experiment with and play with. Hope this video was helpful. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks, and take care.